Now, off. Now he comes into me, I push him back. Good. You guys have seen Bandit. I've done probably three videos. The white dog right there. Bandit is gonna meet two new dogs today. Buster and Bailey, who Bandit has not met. I've done multiple videos with Bandit. Bandit hit Prince in the first video I did a couple months ago when he came for a private session. Bandit jumped on Connery, the gray dog's back. Bandit was, is crazy. You guys commented on Bandit videos a lot he has calmed down tremendously. That's what socialization, desensitization, and satiation does to these crazy dogs. You've got to get them with dogs. Not all of you can do that, I get that, but that's what the board and train does and board and trains like it, okay? Bandit's calmed down a lot, but Bandit hasn't met these two dogs. Plus, we have a newer board and train, True, up there. Allison, show True real quick. True, True's as crazy as Bandit. They're both nuts. They're both young, nutty dogs. Now we're gonna let Bandit in and we're gonna see how it goes. Has not met these two dogs, okay? What am I gonna do? If Bandit gets crazy at all, I'm going to mark and correct. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna clap my hands, I'm gonna go grab Bandit. If True gets crazy, I'm gonna mark and correct. You gotta pick the moments, the behaviors you wanna eliminate and you can't eliminate everything. You wanna eliminate the dog Bandit, right? If you remember, go back and watch these videos. Bandit goes up and gets the dog like this and meets the dog like this. We can't, you can't meet other dogs like that. What about the hitting? What about running up and body slamming dog? You can't do that. Can you play rough? Sure. Can you mouth? Sure. Can you chase? Sure. You gotta pick the things you wanna eliminate, mark the incorrect behavior, then correct the incorrect behavior. What's the correction? Going up to the dog, grabbing them, sit. And your energy and the dog goes, oh wow. They made that noise right when they did that behavior. Then the punishment or the correction came 10 seconds later, they pair up the two things. It's like clicker training, but the opposite. Mark and reinforce. This is mark and correct. Greatest method out there. Bandit, come on. Hey, go. Control your doorways, okay? The, okay, Prince, what are you doing? All right, you're out, dude. Okay, so now we got Bandit. Carly, come in. Don't let anybody out. So you guys can see Bandit's chill. I mean, the, the being with dogs and me not letting Bandit get away, from, get away with anything has calmed Bandit down tremendously. And this is new dogs, by the way. Has not been with these two dogs. Bandit. <laughs> it's all wet in here, so Bandit's tripping. Bandit, are you gonna play with your friends? Are you gonna play with your friends? Are you, what are you guys doing? Hasn't met this dog. It's middle of the day, they're pretty chill. See, hasn't met this dog, so we're just, so, it's mellow. This is Bandit, the dog that was nuts four days ago. The dog is now chill. Will Bandit stay chill? Yeah, maybe not forever. I mean, maybe not, Bandit's gonna be excited when he first sees a dog's dog, but it's not gonna be like it once was. These two are best friends because they're both nutty but everyone's being calm right now, okay? So we don't have the fireworks that you guys like, that's all right, but you get to see the progress of Bandit. So what I want you guys to do is, in the comments, I want you to write your questions about nuttiness. I just had a Zoom call with a guy from New York who his dog gets to the dog park and acts like Bandit, but a little more like, not aggressive, but a little less play, right? It's just a lot for dogs. And dogs go at this dog sometimes. I told him the same thing. You gotta be the boss. You gotta do the fake leash takeoff method to calm him down at the dog park. You have got to not let him jump on people. In the video at one point, he jumped on the camera person. I was like, hey, you gotta give him a correction. You gotta walk, it was a female, you gotta walk her away. Sir, sit, we're not messing around. The world is not this place for your dog to run around and launch itself at dogs and hit dogs and chase dogs. 
But how do you fix that in the moment of a dog park or a situation like this or Central Park, New York? You fix it before the dog is ever, is ever actually loose. So we focused a lot of time on the fake leash takeoff method. That method where you act like he gets his, the, the, the Zoom call I'm supposed to do, dog was just like Bandit, you get to Central Park, you go click, and you act like you take the leash off, you let the leash be loose, then you go, okay, dog flies away, because that first fly away is the main problem. That first fly away is where the dog goes, I do whatever I want, I'm gonna, I rush up to dogs, and they hit the unleash, and you give them a little correction. Then you do it again, click, you don't take it off, Okay, dog flies away. By the third time, the dog's like walking away from you for the first time ever in the dog's life. They have to teach impulse control. Bandit has had no impulse control. Bandit would see dogs, would rush up to dogs and do whatever he wanted with dogs. That is not life. That isn't a dog's life. That isn't a person's life. That isn't social life. You can't do that. In the wild, they can do that. It's encouraged in the wild to rush up to things and kill things, to rush up to things and defend yourself. That is not how our society works. And we've taken these dogs and we've brought them into our society. And unfortunately or fortunately or whatever, they have to conform to this. Unless you live on a farm, which 95% of you do not, they have to conform and be gentle with dogs and conform to what this society is like. I didn't make the rules. Those are the rules. Your dog can't be rushing up and body slamming dogs. I didn't make these rules. I let dogs get pretty darn rough actually. But can you do that everywhere? No. Can the dog do that to other dogs? No. Can dog do it to a little fluffy dog? No. Man, if you don't like it, don't bring around little fluffy dogs. Or yell at the people with the little fluffy dogs, tell them to tough enough. I don't know. But if you want a well-behaved dog, you can't let your dog do that. I didn't make the rules. These are the rules. All right. Bandit and Bailey. He hasn't met Bailey. He's doing fine. Right? Look, he, but he's finally getting a little energetic. He, like, realized that he hasn't met Bailey yet. Bailey will tell him what's up, though, if he gets too much. Oh, I'm going to correct the next time he goes up there because Bailey may not correct him. Bailey actually kind of enjoys it. Oh, here we go. Took a while. And listen, this is fine. Oh, good. Low correction. Good boy, Bailey. Now, you guys are not going to have a dog like Bailey, so I have to show you what to do. But I would prefer the dog correct him. The dog, a dog correcting another dog is more powerful than you correcting him. But you're not going to have a Bailey in your life. Bailey's such a good boy. And it's not even a harsh correction. It's barely a correction. It's not even a correction, actually. It's a please don't do that. That's not a correction. Yeah, do it again. All right, he's being pretty chill. What I would have done, what I could have done on the up on the back part, you've seen me, you got to know this. What do you do? You clap, you say, hey, you go grab the dog. You mark the behavior, then you correct be the behavior. So we are witnessing a dog who is annoyed by another dog. We need to shape him to not be annoying to other dogs. Hey! Now, why did I correct Bailey there? Because Bailey was up longer than he was up. But I'm going to correct now. Off! Now he comes into me, I push him back. Good. Sit. I don't love the tail wag. Now, that wasn't that bad. I'm just trying to show you guys. Plus, he can use this stuff. Why don't I love the tail wag? Because this isn't a punishment. This is a big game to him. That's why I added the little pushback with my fingers right there. Stay. Calmly. Don't excitedly. You're still not super happy with the dog. Calmly release. Okay. I said off just because he was up there. You can say whatever you want. Guys, you know me. Cues, the words you say are not that important. It's your energy. It's the noises you make. It's the shockiness of it. All right, we had a little action, at least something interesting for you. Bailey was so good. You told him what was up. 
All right, that's the video, guys. That's craziness, that's excitedness, and you see his um, progress. How much calmer is this dog? This sat for four days, and that's a new dog. New dog he hasn't met, two new dogs. He's a chiller dog, he's a better dog, but we still gotta shape him. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell.